Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, guys. Celtic Warband here, and thanks for tuning in to another episode in my Norway campaign for the Medieval 2 Teutonic Expansion. This is turn number four, and probably going to be another short episode today, because as I said, we just don't really have too much that we're able to do. Um, I do want to come over here and see if we can bribe the Norwegians here. Uh, in fact... Yes. Let's uh, try and bribe these guys here. Ah, just rejected. Please, please. I mean, I could have tried to bribe the uh, Danish general here, but don't know if that's really going to be possible. Anyways, uh, let's go ahead and push to this. It's a 3 to 1 ratio, so we should be fine. Lost, yeah, 94 men, unfortunately, but uh, let's just sack the settlement. And continue on. We'll leave the archers. And I would like to come around to Skara. Get the land clearance in there. We're already building at our other two settlements. Uh, how are we looking? Yeah, it's still too close. I really don't want to, you know, risk losing over half of my army like that, so... Uh, we'll see how things go. Uh, any mercenaries to hire? There are not. Ah, uh, yeah. Maybe I should have tried to bribe them. Uh, I wonder if there's another settlement over here, though. Or is that the same one? It's hard to see on the map. Or, or there might actually be another one over here. Possibly. I will make them fear you. My lord. But uh, these ships, uh, yeah, we'll just keep them there for now. Uh, and then I'm assuming that this will be Gothenburg's, uh, or Gothenburg's, uh dock once we end up building it, so we can dock them there. Which is good. Militarily, we are eighth. Financially, we are second. Production is fourth. Uh, population is eighth. And overall is eighth. So, we're last. <laughs> eight doesn't actually sound too bad until you realize that there's only eight factions and eight players in this campaign. Well, that's all right. I do like a challenge. So, we've already conquered uh, one settlement. So, we'll have four over here. And then we're going to have to try and go up against Denmark. And that's going to be pretty tough uh, to go up against Denmark. Uh, they're going to have the ability to obviously recruit units, and we will not. Uh, and if I'm not having much luck with recruiting mercenaries... Uh, in fact, yes, if I if I actually get into splitting our troops, Lord. Forward. Men. Yeah, there must March. be some trade coming in from like a settlement over here, but I don't want these guys to defect, so I'll just make sure to stay there for now. And I mean two turns till they surrender, they're slowly taking attrition, but and Yeah, I c I kinda want I kinda want this territory if I'm honest. I really want that. That's because this diplomat sucks. He, he's not able to, like, do anything. It's it's pretty annoying. We need to get, like, really good diplomats. That's what we need. And just keep pumping our funds up so that when a bribe does come around, we are able to afford it. Because it's going to be expensive, but us being able to bribe more troops will kind of fuel our war effort against Denmark. But that is pretty much everything that we can do. I uh, would like to take this city as well, but Denmark might be going after that soon. And I mean, Denmark could already have plans to be going after me, and I'm in a pretty weak position right now, so... Uh, yeah, not too sure what's going to happen in the near future, but a very short turn, like less than five minutes, but there's just really not much else we can do. So thank you so much for watching, guys. I really hope you enjoyed. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you'd like to see more content like this in the future, and I will see you in the next one.